Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess, and today we are going to be styling denim midi slash maxi skirts, okay? Those are, I have been, I wore these like religiously in I think third and fourth grade. Um, and the fact that they were making a comeback, I was actually really happy about this trend. Some comebacks I'm like, do we have to do that again, you know? But I genuinely loved this one. I just love skirts for the fall, especially in winter. But like now that we have denim back and denim skirts back, it just brings a whole different weight and like texture and look to outfits. And you can like grunge it up, you can make it, I don't know, I just, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna show you guys a piece that I got um, so affordable, like, like 20 bucks affordable and it's still good quality good denim and we're gonna piece together I don't know maybe like five or six different styles and ways that you can wear them and yeah so without further ado let's get into it okay so for my base I wanted to do a denim on denim moment denim on denim is so hot for this fall so this corset that I got um, here it is untucked. It is from Zara. I'm wearing an extra small. It is kind of hard to put on, but once it's on, it's fine. And it just has like a little elastic band. And then my skirt is from Old Navy. It was, I think like $21, something super cheap. It was already on sale and then there was an extra sale because you know how Old Navy is all the coupon codes so this was definitely a huge score and it runs big for sure i'm usually a size 2 um 24 25 waist i'm wearing a zero and i can still put my hands in i got a size 2 initially and i was like oh my gosh it was ginormous so this is a size zero extra small and this is what it looks like I just wanted to pair my outfits with this because this is just super trendy and I also feel like it just looks really chic and slick. However, if you are not a denim on denim gal, you could definitely just use a cropped white tank as um, your top instead and use that as your base. I mean, a cropped white tank always is just like the good go-to. So for the first pairing, I wanted to do kind of like a fun going out look. So I have this dupe of the Bottega little fluffy bag, and then I paired it with my favorite Tony Bianca boots. These boots are so fall for, so fall. So hot for the fall too. I have worn these a bajillion times. They're so comfy, they are square toed, so I love them so much. So I feel like you could do this, and then for nighttime, I just got this coat in from Revolve. It is Eve's. She is so, so cute. She just has really cute detailing, um, and it is a thicker jacket. I always, with these jackets, get a size small um, because when I want to start layering like turtlenecks and all that stuff under, I have room and I'm not like a snowman. Okay, so this is a look, super cute. I would wear this going out when it starts getting colder, especially like when we go out to dinner by the beach, there's just a lot of breeze, it's really chilly. So this is a really cute look. I would totally wear this like in New York too. We are going at the end of the month and this is just a cute street look, but also will keep me warm. My next look, I wanted to pair them with some loafers. I got these at Steve Madden. Super cute. I feel like they have the best, or not the best, but just like the perfect platform. It's chunky enough. It's not too chunky. They have very clean details here. And as much as I love the Prada loafers, those are just so expensive. And I don't think they're practical. Don't kill me. Um, to each their own. They're, trust me, they are very, very cute. But... I just don't know if I would spend that much money on them. So this is the base. We got the little white socks because that's just the vibe. I just feel like this is a cute daytime street like going to work look. I mean, going to work as in if you're not working in like a corporate job where you have to be business casual, right? But you know, you just have like your big bag, something like this size, coffee in hand, 
you have your cat eye sunnies and you know you're just walking down the street get a latte and you just look cute and fly and yeah that's literally all i have to say about this outfit so this is definitely one of my favorites um a little bit outside of my comfort zone with like the socks and loafers things i don't wear loafers too much but i do want to incorporate them more because they are also a very good staple shoe for the fall next one is something kind of fun maybe for date night dinner i decided to give them a pop of color and pair them with these orange patent shuts shoots i don't know how to pronounce the brand but they are these fun patent orange boots. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I wore these actually with an orange dress from Ashki. It was like a full orange moment. It was such a vibe. I'll show you guys a photo so you guys can see. Um, but to break it up a little bit and kind of just give it a little bit more something, a little belt with some silver embellishment to match the buttons. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, I need a bag. Um, Maybe, maybe this bag. It is my, actually my other Bottega dupe. I got this from Looks Like Summer. And yeah, this is cute actually. I think it pairs perfectly with the belt. It's not too much. And now you have a fun dinner look. This one is another kind of just cozy, chill street, daytime vibes. I first layered on this cropped puffer vest. You can get these on Amazon on honestly a ton of places. Um, I got this one from Revolve though. It's just a cute color. I just like the shape and the paneling. And then I have this cable knit sweater. This is from Essentials. I've worn this actually a ton already. It's such a good weight and it's just like a nice cable, like good basic to have. So you just drape it over. And now you have some fun layers to kind of just bring the outfit to life. And then per usual, the ever so infamous Birkenstock Boston clogs. These are literally sold out everywhere. And every time they come back on in stock, they are sold out within minutes. So it, when you can snag them, snag them. Um, you know what? Let's see them without socks. I don't know. The camera is so far, I honestly can't see anything. What do you guys think? Do you like it with the socks or without the socks? I mean, I think either works. It's kind of just whatever you want your vibe to be, you know? So anyways, here's one of each. And yeah, so this is my chill everyday daytime look, I guess, version. All right, next one. This next one, I really wanted to pair them with my Silver Prada pointy-toed heels. These are some of my favorite heels in the entire world. They go with literally everything and they are so cute. They're not too tall, which I love. Um, but this is another going out rendition of the outfit. I have my silver heels on and then I have my Jacques Mousse. I don't know how to pronounce the bag, but it's the one that it also comes with a chunky strap, but I take it off a lot because I feel like this, you can just make it more into like nighttime. It's a little bit daintier. So this one is super simple, not too much to it, but still effective and really cute. Okay, last one, we are full sending with all the dead up. This is the look. I literally just said, Screw it, let's see. And I totally love it. So this denim vest, or I guess they call it a gillet. I'm not really sure what a gillet is, but I'm assuming it's a denim vest. Um, I got this off of Nasty Gal. I have worn it so much. It is one of my favorite, favorite pieces in my closet. It's just the perfect oversized fit. I'm pretty sure I got like my normal size too, like a size two or a size small, whatever it is, it comes oversized, so you definitely don't have to oversize. And um, and I just paired it with my little green olive New Balance sneakers. I haven't worn these yet. I've had them for a minute, but I just think they're so cute. I love the olive color, some sunnies, and just, again, another everyday kind of casual look for the streets. We don't want to belong to the streets, but we want to look good in the streets. 
So yeah, those are my outfits that I put together with this all denim look and the denim skirt. I also have found um, a couple other denim skirts. You guys have seen me wear them a couple times. I found a super rad one from Marshalls, but found literally an identical pair on Mango, so I will link that too. And then another one is this, you know what? I'm just gonna bring them and show you guys. All right, well, for whatever reason, I can't find the patch skirt, um, but I'll show you guys a picture of it. I've worn it so many times, gotten so many compliments. It's only $23 too. The brand is called PTCL, and they um, are straight to consumer, so they cut out the middleman so they can keep the cost of their denim lower. And I have a 40% off code, um, but they're like a good sustainable brand too. They're in LA, so they're great. Anyway, so that is a whole jam. Um, yeah, genuinely one of my favorite skirts ever and you can't beat the price. So yeah, okay, so that one, we have that one. And then we have the white one that I told you guys I got at Marshalls. It has a slit in the front, but the mango one is literally the same. This is one of my newer favorite skirts. I love the stitching, the detail. This one is from Revolve. It is part of the Elsa Hosk collection. She killed it with her pieces. Um, I think it's probably one of my favorite collections ever created with Revolve. So yeah, it has a split skirt. It actually, so, you know, I'm short and it was a lot longer than this, but I just had my seamstress tailor them a little bit shorter and this whole panel is longer than these and luckily I was able to shorten up shorten it so that every panel ended up being the same length so I mean if you're like 5'4 and up and you wear heels you should be fine I'm just under 5'2 and I wanted my boots to show a little bit more because like, you know, length gets tricky. If it's too long and you can't see the shoes, it's not really a vibe. So, and there's no slit in the front, right? So it's just one long solid piece. So I wanted it to just show a little bit more. So I think I cut about four inches off this and I'll show you a picture of like how I wore it. She's very cute. Yeah, so it is a investment piece, but it is just so chic and stunning that like, yeah, I would totally do it. Ah. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I haven't done a styling video in a while, but I had a lot of extra time today and energy, which is great. So we are doing more of those hopefully soon. Um, I just love fall fashion. Fall fashion is my absolute favorite. I genuinely from the bottom of my heart hate summer fashion <laughs> i just think like it, it's so hard to be creative and cute with outfits like it's cute things are neutral it's like cool natural fabrics but like because it's so hot i don't know it just i feel like it just gets boring and then everyone's just showing a ton of skin and that's what it ends up being and i love fall because i love layering and playing with pieces playing with textures different weights of pieces and it's just I feel like my thriving season I feel like I just get the most creative so yes hopefully we will be doing more fall outfits I have a list of videos that you guys want to see uh, at least on Instagram but they can very much carry over into YouTube so stay tuned for those guys but yeah I hope you guys liked it be sure to add me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel and everything will everything that I can link will be linked down below so anyways thanks guys and I will see you next time